The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Wednesday, January 12, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Cleveland Cavaliers vs Utah Jazz. Cleveland will be looking to dish out some payback for the 109-108 loss they suffered to this Utah team back in early December. Their comeback attempt in the fourth quarter came up one point short. Garland finished that one with 31 points, while Jared Allen and Evan Mobley both finished with double-doubles. They will need to defend the deep ball better this time, as they allowed Utah to shoot 41.7% from three last outing. Utah comes into this game riding a three-game slide, but the return of Rudy Gobbert should help the Jazz shore things up on the defensive end of the floor. The Jazz also enter this contest as the league's number one offensive team, so expect a bounce-back performance in this spot. Meanwhile, Cleveland comes into this game in the midst of a six-game road trip. The Cavaliers will be playing their fourth game in six days and have not won back-to-back -back games since mid-December. Our first betting pick will be Utah Jazz. Utah completely lost focus on the defensive end in the second half in Monday's loss, giving up a whopping 78 points after halftime. Instead of snapping a two-game slide, Utah closed its five-game road swing with its third straight loss. However, the Jazz defense will get a boost with the return of three-time Defensive Player of the Year Rudy Gobbert. Utah continued its recent slide, falling short 126-116 on the road against the Detroit Pistons on Monday night. Donovan Mitchell finished with 31 points, but it wasn't enough for the Jazz, who led by as many as 22 points on the night. Hassan Whiteside finished with 21 points and 14 rebounds, while Jordan Clarkson added 16 points off of the bench for the Jazz in the loss. Cleveland fended off the Sacramento Kings 109-108 on Monday night. Jared Allen finished with 18 points and 17 rebounds, while Darius Garland added 12 points and 11 assists for the Cavaliers, who have now alternated wins and losses over their last six games. Our second betting pick will be over the total. Quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Brooklyn Nets vs Chicago Bulls. The Nets have now hit a poor patch of form that has seen them lose 5 out of their last 7 games, including a 114-108 defeat to the Portland Trailblazers in their previous game. The Nets are now 25-14 for this season. The Nets are struggling at home, but they have been the best road team in the league, with a 14-4 Sioux record. Chicago has an identical home record, but the Bulls will be playing the second of a back-to-back, -back, and I expect them to be a bit tired. Brooklyn will have James Harden back on the floor after he missed the last game, while Irving will also be there as he is eligible for away games. Chicago already beat Brooklyn twice this season, and I am sure the visitors will do everything to avoid the season sweep on Wednesday. He Bulls have been in sensational recent form. In fact, they are in the lead in the central standings with a terrific 27-11 record. They bounced back from a loss against the Mavs with a 133-87 demolition of the Detroit Pistons in their previous game. As reported by AP. Lonzo Ball added 18 points, and Zach Lavin had 10 points and 9 rebounds, as Chicago picked up its ninth straight home win. The Bulls also got to rest their regulars in the final period to prepare for a two-game stretch that includes visits from Brooklyn, their nearest pursuer in the East and Golden State. Our first betting pick will be the Nets. The Brooklyn Nets lost on the road for the first time in six games as they succumbed to a 114-108 defeat to the struggling Portland Trail Blazers. Steve Nash's side lost the third quarter by 13 points, and that proved to be costly, as the Nets couldn't come back in the final 12 minutes. Brooklyn did have a 7-point lead at halftime, but struggled defensively in the second half, allowing 59 points to Portland. The Nets failed to cover a minus 8.5 spread, which is the seventh game in a row they didn't cover. The Chicago Bulls played their worst defense in the past couple of weeks in a 113-99 road loss to the Dallas Mavericks. 
it was their first defeat in 10 games, and also the first time in that span the Bulls failed to reach a 100-point mark, Chicago didn't cover a plus-2 spread, the fourth time in five games they failed to do so. They now stand at a 22-15 ATS record. Following a bright start of the game and a 10-point lead after the opening quarter, the Bulls let the Mavs take over, and the hosts controlled the tilt since. Our second betting pick will be over 227. Los Angeles Lakers vs Sacramento Kings. Point guard Darren Fox has been playing well for the Sacramento Kings, as he is playing in 34.2 minutes and is averaging 20.7 points, 3.7 rebounds, 5.1 assists, and 1.3 steals per game. He is shooting decently well as he is shooting 45% from the field, 24.7% from beyond the arc, and 75% from the charity stripe. In his last game against Cleveland, Fox finished with 12 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, and a pair of steals in 31 minutes. Although they fought till the very end against the Cavs, I don't like the direction the Kings are headed to, and I don't like their basketball right now. They have been struggling offensively of late, the Kings failed to score more than 108 points in three of the previous five games. If they don't score at least 115 in this one, they can forget about defeating the Lakers, who have been red hot on offense in the past few games. Even if they score 115 plus, I am not sure they are better than the Lakers at the moment. Los Angeles is playing without AD, but that didn't reflect on their form in the last two weeks, as Lebron James is playing just like he played at his prime. King James is unstoppable, and I don't think one of the worst defenses in the NBA will be capable of handling him. The Los Angeles Lakers will go on the road on Wednesday night to the Golden One Center to take on the Sacramento Kings in a Western Conference matchup. The Lakers are 7th in the West with a 21-20 record and are coming off a 127-119 home loss on Sunday against the Memphis Grizzlies. The Kings are 12th in the West with a 16-27 record and are riding a five-game losing streak after losing at home 109-108 against the Cleveland Cavaliers on Monday. Our first betting pick will be the Lakers. For the first time this season, the Sacramento Kings lost five games in a row. The latest team that beat the Kings was the Cleveland Cavaliers, who snatched a narrow 109-108 victory at Golden 1 Center. The visitors controlled the game for most of it, but Sacramento managed to cut the deficit and even take the lead in the fourth quarter. However, Cleveland showed better composure in the dying moments. After four consecutive games in which they failed to cover, the Kings covered a plus 5.5 spread in this one. The Los Angeles Lakers lost the season series to the Memphis Grizzlies after suffering the third loss, this time at home. Frank Vogel's side couldn't extend the winning streak to five games because the Lakers allowed even 80 points in the third and fourth quarters combined. Memphis shot 54% from the floor and deservedly secured a 127-119 victory. The Lakers failed to cover a minus three spread, which is the first time in three games they didn't cover. Right now, Los Angeles has a 17-24 at TS record. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.